Good morning guys, how's it going? And welcome to another vlog. And uh, right now we're just in my study. Um, I've had new carpets fitted out into the house as well. Check these carpets out. Look at them. That's just silky. Love it. Let me introduce you to my fishies. My fishies. And that's uh, Dory. We have Nemo over here. Uh, officially that's a regal tang. And that's a um, clownfish. I've got the whole setup here as well. Got the sump down below, the uh, lighting above. So yeah, got a good little setup going on. Just had this done. Yeah, what do you think of the carpet, guys? You like the new carpet? Awesome. Also having this room fitted out as well. Good morning. Hi. What do you think, guys? First, it was all cream, was it before? What colour carpet was it before? Nearly white. Nearly white cream, <laughs> and now we've uh, had this put in, so yeah, I think it looks pretty nice. It's being fitted at the moment. Oh, what a mess. So yeah, on the uh, on the driveway, let's uh, have a little driveway check. Got the drop head, G-Wagon all cleaned up. Black Ghost looking filthy. That needs a wash. Ferrari's been washed up. That's going on a job tonight. SLS clean. That's also going on a job tonight. Our auto pet just came back. Just been on a job. These two, as you can see, are probably heading out on a job now. Very, very soon, obviously got my C63 that I need to get out to head over to Pet HQ. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head over to Pet HQ today. Let's see what they've, uh, what the builders have been doing, update you guys on that. Um, and then we'll just see where the day takes us from there. So let's go. Can't wait until Pet HQ's building, to be honest. So I have to start doing this when I've gotta get my C63 out and there's a phantom in the way. I mean, Alhamdulillah, not complaining, but do you know what I mean? It's just, Oh, it's just um, no more risk of damaging them and hitting other cars. Let's let this warm up. All right, let's move this beast out of the way and pull up my car. I don't know if you guys know, but the key is a bit like the 7 Series. Let's tank out of the way. Tiniest of mirrors for such a big car. It's not as bad as the Bentley flying spare ones, the Continental um, ones, but it's up there. So I think that should do. Then we'll just move over the C63 now. Oh, quick, let's go, let's go, let's go. Smells of. Uh, Oh, my phone is going off. Um, smells of uh, Rubicon Guava in my car because uh, a can actually exploded in my car yesterday. Uh, <laughs> I mixed that with some auto fray. Right, this is the pain that I have to go through all the time as well. The um, the notifications are quite crazy. My phone battery lasts me about two hours. Um, so yeah, it's a little bit of a pain. But again, love the support you guys show. There's not a problem there, we can always get a charger. SLS. So yeah, we're just gonna head over to Pet HQ now. And uh, I'm just gonna move over the Phantom, so yeah, let's go. Okay, basically every car has a different driving phase. So like when you're in an AMG, this is normally your driving phase. Because you know you're just gonna have lots of fun. But you want to look cool at the same time. And then when you're in a Ferrari, you just like. Because everyone expects you to be an arrogant little sod, but I'm like this. Um, when you're in a Lambo, oh, Lambo's. That Lambo driving face is totally different. It's one hand on top of the steering, one in the centre armrest. Because you're just so focused on the ball, you know. You know it can just take your life away at any second, but you're still focused. Uh, oh, the classic Range Rover driving face and the driving position. Uh, your elbow, the side of the door, 
Oh yes, <laughs> I'm an entrepreneur. Oh yes, 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 you have that look. And then a Rolls Royce, that should, oh god, don't mind yourself there, one second, one second, let me just get off uh, this hill. And then you have the Rolls Royce driving, which is two hands on the steering, enjoying the feel through the steering of the effortless drive. That's the Rolls Royce driving. And then, uh, you know what, forget this. Let's hear some AMG power, yeah? Ready? I've also noticed some of you say that I don't wear a seatbelt as well. But what it is is guys, I actually have a really bad habit of putting the seatbelt underneath my armpit like that because sometimes, I don't know what, it just feels like as if it gets in the way of my shoulder. Even though I know the right way is to have it over the top and it's obviously safety first, but um, it's just a really bad habit that I've got into. Um, so yeah, as you can see, I have got my seatbelt on. It's just that it goes under my armpit. Um, so yeah, just um, always wear your seatbelt when you're driving. Because at the end of the day, um, you know, safety comes first, and uh, if you want to increase your chance of survival, you don't want your face gone through the windscreen, your blood and guts and everything like that on the road, and you want to stay strapped into your seat, then, you know, seatbelts are must, but, yeah, don't, don't do, don't follow my bad habits of wearing your seatbelt under the armpit like that, it's just, you know, should be done. Anyway, let's listen to the AMG. Going into the office now. Got my laptop with me, so he's charging phones as well. Right, it's time to go check the update. My plasterers are absolutely hilarious. What's this? Where's my CDs? They've stolen my CD. <laughs> Apparently I work for the FBI. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Boss, 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 tell me, tell me, tell me something. Forget that. Where's my CDs? I don't know. The man said you had them. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, uh, a follower of mine came to drop off a, uh, a CD mixtape that he's done um, so I could like, you know, help him promote it a little and he came and dropped it off to these guys and these guys love music so they just took the CDs and I haven't had them yet but yeah, it's all good, he's put, put one another one in the post to me so uh, I should be getting that Anyway, let's see what they've done Well, plastered that wall done a bit more in here and I think this is what they've done, the ceiling you can see so all this is being plastered here. Huh? What's that? <laughs> I don't understand the word they're saying, but I love it. I love it. I love their accent too. So yeah, still, still bits and bobs. Yeah, good progress. We're getting there. Um, everything's being done slow and steady, but we're gonna get there. And once it's done, inshallah. It's going to be fantastic, and I'm sure you guys will come down and have a look and uh, and see the effort that we've gone to uh, to making this. And yeah, it will be good, inshallah. Yeah, hats off to these guys here. Skimming is like an art, honestly. It requires so much skill. But look at this. Done it really, really nice round here. 
had these done as well obviously I think I've explained this before the car my diecast car models will be going in there so yeah a nice little chill out room can't wait I've had a, a last minute uh, double ceiling put in it as well for mood lighting so yeah I've changed, the, changed it up a little that should be going in soon as well but yeah it's all looking good that was nice I just had a, uh, a follower that follows me on YouTube come in there he is off he goes just came over we just had a really nice chat for about uh, 10-15 minutes discussing the uh, the My Motherland vlogs. Big fan of them and so is his nephews and whatnot as well. So yeah, it's always nice for people to just uh, pop in and uh, have a chat sometimes. It's, uh, it's good fun. I'm just waiting for the office to be open because uh, my uh, my guy Sahail, he's popped out for lunch uh, and my dad's doing a few errands local and uh, I've lost my keys. So um, yeah, he's got to come and open it up. It should be another 10 minutes or so. So yeah, wait for him. So the, the office has finally been opened up and Sir Hale's brought me some KFC. Wicked. Lovely. Okay guys, so I was just in the office now, uh, working away and uh, a friend of mine's just popped in. You've probably already seen this before, but here it is again. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the car you have all been asking for, the Nissan GTR, pushing 900 brake horsepower. Yeah, yeah, nah, but you know what? But you know has it got an aftermarket exhaust on it? What exhaust is it? So, oh yeah, it's all done by Litchfield. So yeah, proper job on the car. I'm 99% sure, I'd say no. What a car. As you all probably know, I haven't got a GTR on the fleet. But honestly, we're going to take this out for a spin and you'll see why. It's either you'll kill yourself or you'll get a driving ban. It's one or the other. Okay, so here we go, guys. Oh, not gonna lie, kinda scared. So right, we're going to get a reaction of this. My heart is racing. I've got my seatbelt on the proper way instead of the under my armpit that I usually do. <laughs> this is going to be good fun. 900 brake horsepower. This very car, before even being tuned, gave a McLaren P1 uh, you know, a run for its money as well. So really, really looking forward to this. God. I don't know whether I want to swear, I want to cry, I want to laugh. My emotions are all over the place right now. This car is seriously, seriously, seriously quick. <laughs> this must make you laugh all the time. <laughs> trying to hide my bad hair day all day this GTR six exposed me. Ah, <laughs> uh, look here, this is a beast. It's a monster. <laughs> <laughs> so here we are at 30 miles an hour and then we've got about 30, 35 miles per gallon. Um, so it's doing, what is it doing? It's, it's, it's going to come up, yeah. yeah. It's going to come, so a good economy drive, sensible drive as well, uh, when it wants to be. Uh, but unfortunately, I don't think any driver would want to be sensible in this. Obviously, we're abiding by all uh, all our speed limits. It's just, we're doing 
no, no, we're still we're 24. We're actually five miles per hour underneath the uh, speed limit, but uh, we're just playing around with the boost, not to uh, not to 30. Yeah. <laughs> Four bar if I need to. All right, so what? We're at minus 10 at the moment. PSI. Uh, PSI. No, that's it's gone around. It's gone. Oh, it's gone around. Yeah. So what we'll do is uh, we'll go to the units here. Change the units so most people are more familiar with the uh, the bars boost. We'll go to the map. So I mean, most GTRs are around about this sort of mark. So that's that, that's what m most GTRs are like. Yeah, and then this one. 1.1, 1.2, 1.3. It's about like 50 brake horsepower five. every time. Yeah. And it goes all the way around. It's gone all the way around, and that's about 1.7 bar. We'll flip here. Um, and, and we can go to 2.5. We need to. It's got a 2.5 bar map sensor. Wow. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm a petrol head, but I don't actually understand the high. I just know how to put my foot down and brake. But the whole logistics of it, I think if you actually want to learn how a car works and whatnot, the Nissan GTR is the car to buy. And uh, you know, it's just like it's like playing a PlayStation game, but it's it's real life. It's reality. It's not a game anymore. Crazy. <laughs> And, uh, and uh, you know, I'm not paying for this dollars in bill either. Go around the roundabout, yeah, see what the, what, the, what the grip's like. Okay, four wheel drive. What's the, what's the G meter say? And then suddenly we're just gonna have a surge of power just come through now and it's gonna be oh <laughs> I'm laughing, I'm holding onto my seat. Ready? cannot be driven by just anybody trust me you do need to be a driver to drive this car it's ridiculous
Okay, so I've been very kindly offered to uh, drive this uh, GTR 900 brake. This is actually my second time driving a GTR, but the other one was just a standard car. So, uh, yeah, that's it. This should be good. Wow. Is it time to sell the C63? Is it? I've only done what 200 yards well not even that I've done about 50 yards and I think it's already time to sell sell the car honestly oh my days right no I can get the cap let's put the cap on like this <laughs> oh my days, this is the cars, ladies and gentlemen. Forget your Bugatti Veyron, your Pagani, your... this is the car. Ridiculous, absolutely ridiculous. I'm actually lost for words for once. Handling, power, it's the most complete car you will ever, ever, ever find. Rolling Star second. This has to be the fastest car I have ever driven. Period. I don't care what anyone says. I don't think this, the excitement that I'm getting from this right now is making me doubt my existence right now. I don't think I'm ever going to look at my C63 in the same way I'm looking at this right now. Move out my way. Well there we have it guys, I've just driven a 900 brake horsepower Nissan TTR thanks to Akil and his brother. So if you ever see this gentleman around or this creature here, stay away. You don't want to be racing this beast here. VMAX, you have something else coming your way. Absolutely amazing. It really is a box that it bullies itself through. <laughs> Crazy, I don't think I've ever, you know, this is possibly one of the happiest days of my life right now. The actual excitement I'm having through dri dr after driving this. I'm actually lost for words. There you go, I'm stuttering. When I stutter, that means that I'm kind of lost for words. I'm very excited. Yeah. Upgraded brakes as well. Crazy. This is a complete GTR here. So make sure if you see this car out on the road, make sure you give a little wave and a thumbs up to the driver. 
and maybe I'll show you what it can do. Maybe. Okay, so I'm over. Oh, I'm gonna put my seatbelt. Okay, so I'm back in my beast now, and uh, that's it. We've just taken the Nissan TTR for a spin, and it was just such a surprise. I mean, uh, Akil, uh, which was a uh, driver, the other guy's little brother, they own the car, obviously. Um, he came, he popped around just to see me, and um, and yeah, he, he phoned up and he said his brother was passing by and he was in the GTR and um, and he stopped by and uh, he just showed me around the car and uh, <laughs> showed me around the car and uh, took me out in it and it was phenomenal. Honest to God, Nissan GTRs, I have just changed my view on them. I want one so bad right now. That car was amazing. I've never felt a thrill in my life like it before. Um, and yeah, it was just, ah, oh, it was phenomenal. Now, as we was driving, he pulled over and he said, right, it's your turn now. And that's when it got real. My heart was thumping. I could literally see it just wanting to come out uh, my chest. It was flipping, it was crazy, honestly. That car at 900 brake horsepower was absolutely incredible. A car that not anyone can just jump in and drive, you know? It is, it is a lethal, lethal piece of kit, um, but yeah crazy and I just want to thank them so much for actually popping over and, and I think we're going to set up a, a review on that as well so I'm going to pre uh, properly reviewing uh, the Nissan GTR like I did with the C63, C63 and whatnot. so um, yeah it's going to be good fun uh, okay I'm going home now um, I've done for the day for the pet uh, the builders have been progressing really well with the, uh, the plastering and a few of the bits and bobs as well so yep that's all looking good um, and I have to, we have a little uh, pet job uh, to do tonight as well. Uh, got to get one of the cars out to uh, a customer and uh, for an event. So yeah, that should be good. But we're just going to go home now. I'm going to have my dinner, and then uh, we're going to see where the uh, what we're doing for the evening. Um, but yeah, I hope you all enjoy that Nissan GTR. Uh, incredible piece of kit. And once again, thank you very much, Akil. And uh, yeah. see you in a bit. So there we have it guys, that will be it for today's vlog because um, I have to basically, um, tonight we have to go and drop this baby off to a driver. So yeah, that's going out and uh, oh, look how cute these two look together. That is a power couple right there, black G-Wagon. Black ghost, awesome. Yeah, uh, tomorrow I'm going to be heading over to Salon Privé, uh, which is uh, which I'm looking forward to anyway. So um, yeah, that should be good. Obviously, I'll vlog that as well for you guys. Uh, but other than that, guys, uh, hope you enjoyed today's vlog. That GTR was something else. There we have it, guys. That's another pet on its way somewhere in the country. And. Ghost and the phantoms just there. The happy couple. Yeah, it's been a great day. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'm off to uh, do a little bit of work now. So uh, make sure you subscribe, share, and like. And I'll see you tomorrow at Salon Privé. Take it easy, guys. God bless. Bye bye.